back today with another video, man. It's your favorite television host, Dunga. <laughs> Come back with another banger. Y'all already know what the title of the video is. I'm going to teach y'all. I'm going to show y'all about how to create space. Now, it's a slick way to do it. Not just knowing how to dribble, guys. Y'all got to have a certain swag to it. It's a lot of things about having to create space. You can create space to shoot the ball. You can create space to create for others. You feel me? It's all mental. Now, how do you create space? It's all about how your defender plays you, right? That's how you create space. Because some lockdowns defender, you know, they are not good at playing defense. Yes, some lockdown builds are trapped at defense. Of course. And not even lockdown defense. Just your defensive assignment in all in total just the guy that's guarding you let's just go about that now you see me breaking this guy's ankles but besides that yes you can shoot off ankle breakers this year when you when uh, your defender gets stumbled off an ankle breaker it counts as a wide open shot i tested out i know but besides that how do you just you know create space from your defender to shoot a jump shot he's playing me so tight he clamping me up guys i can't look at it wide open shot and it's all mental y'all first of all when you're going against somebody yo be intimidating be intimidating that's the number one rule number one be intimidating whether that be a sniper or he could just see that you know how to dribble. I'm telling y'all, there's not too many people in this goddamn game that can really play defense, got that defensive IQ to know what to do in certain situations. So that's Cook City. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not hard to create space at all. Don't, don't make it harder than it has to. Besides everybody saying that every playmaker shot creator plays the same, be your own individual please just do whatever you can have your strength you everybody has their weaknesses you know but you see every move i'm doing creates me a lot of space that explosive behind the back that i hit that guy with that's one of the primary moves please put that on your arsenal i don't care how many people curse you out for it please put that move in your arsenal the explosive behind the back is very easy to do i'm not giving y'all a tutorial hey I'ma just tell y'all what to do. It's the same way as last year. If y'all didn't play 2K last year, you gotta have to learn how to do that move. You know? Learn how to do the explosive behind the back. They got a bunch of tutorials on YouTube. But that's one move you're gonna have to learn how to do to really create space. You see, I'm just, I, if I hit him with a behind the back, that, that creates a certain amount of space to where he backs up. Off of that, you could just shoot, you could just shoot drive anything you want because when you hit a defender with a move an explosive move not even a, a fast move anyway that's like okay you can't really tell what he's gonna do out of that then when he backs up you got him you see or just combo went up just do in between the legs all that hit him with a curry slide here go back in between the leg momentum cross he's gonna back up you're gonna get that space Especially if you put that ankle breaker badge on. You see how I'm doing him, yo? The ankle breaker badge is something different. Guys, please use that. Please use that. Because every time I'm just making him stumble, twist. Hey, he's playing twister out here, yo. He's playing twister. Another way to create space is to be confident in your moveset. Basically, all you got to do is know what you're doing. Don't just be out there flicking the right stick any type of way like I see some people do. Know what move you want to execute. Know how you want to score on this player at this time and you will do it. There's certain moves you can use to create space. You can use the snatch back, especially if you have that ankle breaker on. He will, his ankles will begin broke. There's a whole hesitation move that creates a whole bunch of space. And all you got to do is run either to the left or the right and flick the right stick back. You see how I just created all that space from just snatching back and getting that ankle breaker animation. Pull up green light 
every single time every single time guys i kid you not it's bad you see just watch this next game you see the first move i cracked out i run to the right i hit that little step back right there even though i missed that is a good way to break someone's ankles and create space that's one of the most efficient way if a defender is playing you up too tight too tight like like last year look at 2k20 i'm not even going to say much about that game because we're in 2k21 now but the space creator badge did exactly what it's supposed to do just create space and everybody didn't like that you see how like every time i play i played it uh, with the 1v1 court a lot and you'll be surprised how many people came on the court you know a low uh dribbling ball handling build like a sharpshooter facilitator they would literally come on the court every time I would press them with my clamps, hit that little hezzy, little hezzy step back, and it would get me every time. I'll be stunned. Crew did. They could create space to either drive or shoot a jump shot. Now it's like I gotta test that out for this game, but that's a crazy way, a cheesy way to create space, but it wins you game, so you can't really say anything. You feel what I'm saying? So that move right there creates a lot of space. It breaks their ankles. It gets the defender off you when they're playing tight. When your defender is playing tight on you, you have to hit them with a move that a snatch back move that's gonna catch them. You either have to have ankle breaker or space creator so you can get them to get that stun animation for a quick second. Boom, drive right past them. You're good for any type of thing you wanna do. See right here? He stopped in the middle of his dribble, and I don't even know why I'm giving credit to him, but I, I just got to use him as an example. The way he just stopped in the middle of his dribble and stepped back and shot the midi, okay, yeah, I was on that, but the way the defense set up this year, he got me with that move, and my player can't react fast enough to get back on that, so that's a wide open shot for him. You know, he faked me, I thought he was going to drive for the layup, but he didn't. So that's what he gets. He gets a wide open shot and I'm just left with nothing. <laughs> so right here, I tried to do the same thing to him. You see it's seven to eight. You know, I fast forward a little bit, hit him with that ankle breaker animation with the curry slide. Boom, right in front of his face. He did not see it coming. I swear if you're a good shooter, it don't matter what move you do. As long as you can create that space, you can shoot. 100% have that little dead eye just in case he gets that little late contest from you All you're looking for is that little bit of room and some of these moves that I'm doing can get you those moves You see I would hit that tire shot right there. All I wanted was a little bit of space Some people are not good at shooting under pressure. You know the defense is all over you Uh, you, You're forced to shoot a, a rush shot You don't have time to set your feet all the way and get really comfortable in your zone That's that's what makes good shooters those people who could just shoot under that pressure you find yourself not being able to shoot these kind of shots then you just gotta practice get in the lab get in that mic court practice your moves your combos whatever you want to do to make yourself some room and shoot you know try to try to use that difficult shot shoot a different shot you see i had a momentum right there that created enough space for me but you see they made me go with the crazy circus layup and that was the first time I realized that's still in the, the goddamn game. So right now, I'm just pissed that I lost the ball again. And the score is, you know, 10 to 14. He could possibly catch up. You know, I already know what he's doing now. So basically, you got to catch up. And the people try to cheese that baseline. Can't do it all game. So I'm trying to cheese that baseline. People that really try to really go all in the corner and just try to get past you, no, it's not going to work. You see that little bit of space right there? I just green the shot. No looking back. That's dead eye because that's a late contest. All you have to do is create a little shot right there. You see, I could have just shot that again. I could have shot that again. That's that space. In this game, that counts as space. As long as you have that little bit of space to where you could pull up that jump shot, you're going to make it. But most people don't really shoot like that because they're not that comfortable shooting those tight shots. And I can say I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at shooting those tight shots. So anyway, I don't want to carry on with this video for too long. I just want to show y'all what was good and the stuff I do to create my space. You feel what I'm saying? All the badges I use and everything. I'm probably going to do a space creator badge soon, maybe tomorrow. But let me know what y'all guys think of the video. Make sure y'all leave a like, comment, and share. Do all that good stuff. 
And besides that, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Peace. You see, oh my God, that shot was lethal. Mm.